Hope to get some intelligence via osmosis. He's all around a, a very good dude. The president of the Sacramento Republic. The general manager of the Sacramento Republic. And I'm sure from time to time, concessionaire, marketer, and uh, he, he can play a little soccer to himself. <laughs> hey, Todd, how are you, buddy? Hey, Dave. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> hey, man, I'm good. Uh, you are a very busy dude. Uh, I know this from, from watching you and from knowing people that work around you. Uh, you got a lot on your plate, as always. I said before you came on that uh, our mutual friend, uh, the most powerful mustache in the city, Kevin Nagel, uh, got off the wallet big time over the summer, and uh, you and your team went out. And you guys, you know, no disrespect to last year's team, but th this this squad on paper, at least, looks like it is brimming with talent. Yeah, we, we hope so. I mean, to, to your point, Kevin uh, doubled down. He invested even more in the in the team, and we, we sort of rethought the roster um, and, and really got to work in this offseason and put a, a group together that we're, we're really happy about. It's, it's always, you know, it's one thing on paper, but now we got to do the business on the field, and that's going to be the, the true test. But we, we like our group. I think more than anything, we like the leadership that we have, the, the vibe, the, you know, the – the team seems to be gelling off the field. Now we got to get them to gel on the field. Todd Donovan joining us. Todd, one of those new additions uh, is a name we were talking about this earlier, very familiar to Republic fans. I want to say in his third stint uh, and the hero of the inaugural year, uh, Rodrigo Lopez. Roro is a name synonymous with the Republic and vice versa. And listen, and I love the guy. Uh, he ain't 20 anymore. We all acknowledge that. But I got to imagine – uh, not just what he brings on the field, but also what he brings into that clubhouse uh, is, is something very, very special. Yeah, Roro has been great to have back. I think he had a he had a great year last year uh, at RGV. He showed that he still has it, and then some. Um, and he's brought that in in the preseason. He's, he's I think our leading scorer throughout preseason. Uh, he's done the little things that people won't see off the field. Uh, he brought the leadership. So. We've been really happy with him. Yes, I, I think you're right. We we need to manage him in terms of his minutes, his, you know, the load that he's putting on his body. But he is a good professional. He knows how to to manage those things as well, and um, he's a competitor. So he's going to want to be on the on the field at all times. And you know, I think it's uh, it's a good problem to have. Todd, speaking of uh, new old faces on the team this year, uh, Matt Lagrassa returning to Sacramento, uh, played last year in MLS. Talk about what bringing Matt does, uh, bringing back Matt does for this team. Yeah, Matt's another good one. I mean, he he's a he's an Elk Grove native, uh, somebody who's been at Nashville in MLS for for the past four years. And you know, again, talk about a leader. He uh, he, he commands the locker room. He commands respect, um, and he's just an upstanding guy. I mean, he, he, you, you talk to him, and, and you just see a lot of a lot of quality just in in his personality and the traits he brings. But uh, on the field, you know, the center of our midfield, when you talk. Matt Lagrassa, Rodrigo Lopez, Nick Ross, Luis Felipe. It is a strong, strong group, and ultimately, we wanted the spine of our team to to be strong, and and uh, we feel really good about that center midfield. I want to remind you, uh, opening day coming up Saturday. That's just two days from now against the El Paso. What the El Paso Locomotive? That's dumb. What, what a dumb name. I'm sorry. No offense to El Paso. The heated rivalry developing between the Sac Republic, awesome name, and the El Paso locomotive, whatever. Why do you hate trains? I'm just saying. That's just a, <laughs> hey, hi, I'm a locomotive. I play for El Okay. 7 p.m. Heart Health Park. You can grab your tickets at sacrepublicfc.com. Todd, one thing I always like to talk about, whether it's with you, with Coach, with Kevin, with a player, let's just be honest. Soccer's still growing in the United States. There's people listening right now. They're like, get back to football or baseball. We want. Not everybody is a diehard soccer fan right now. And one thing I always like to point out, in addition to the fact that if you have kids or you have nothing to on a Saturday and you go to one of these games, you will be entertained. It is a blast. But also, what you guys do in the community. It, it makes such a difference in Sacramento, Todd, to have a team like the Republic it goes so far beyond the pitch. And you guys have all kinds of stuff going on between now that you've already been doing and later on this week uh, leading up to opening day. Yeah, there's so many things. I, I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out. It, it's what I think we do best. Um, it's what the club has always done best is is really get back to the community. And, you know, the things that are important to us, we're, we're the indomitable club. 
representing our indomitable city. And, you know, there's, there's so many things that, that we can do and, and want to be a part of, and including, you know, giving back to veterans, giving, uh, promoting, you know, healthy lifestyles, moving activity, you know, Heart Health Park, renaming the stadium last year, um, you know, thanks to Western Health Advantage. All those things are so important. Our, our, our you know, greatest partner on the front of our, on, a, on the front of our jersey, UC Davis Health, uh, continues to do great things in the community has, has really helped us through these last two years during the pandemic. And, um, you know, we're, we're super grateful to have great partners like that and to be able to do great things in the community with, with our leaders uh, on that side, Scott Moak and, and Kevin Burdick. They do such a great job, um, you know, getting, getting deep into the community and not just for photo ops and not just for to check the box, but to really make a difference and really make an impact. Todd Dunavit, General Manager, Sacramento Republic, joining us this morning. Todd, David kind of, you know, poo-pooed the locomotive name, so to speak. But this was a very good team last year, finishing second in the Western Conference. Uh, What is the strategy moving forward this Saturday to get the uh, season off to a good start with a win? Well, first of all, trains are our thing. Sacramento uh, has got the trains locked down, so (laughs) we're we're not afraid of that. Um, no, but you're, you're right. El Paso has, has been a powerhouse in our in our conference, um, and and are returning a lot of their same players. You know, we we did take one of their their best, and Nick Ross, uh, who will be in the center of the midfield for us. Um, but they, you know, they're they're a savvy team. They're they're a veteran group. They know how to they know how to get results. They have a new coach, uh, slightly new style. So it'll be interesting to see how they adapt to that. Um, you know, and I think more than anything, we want to come out at home. And put our put our footprint on the game. I think that's the one thing, especially last year, that we we fell short. You know, we do such a good job. Uh, you know, the community shows up in droves. We have a full stadium. The place is rocking, uh, and then we just came out and laid too many eggs. Quite frankly, yep. that just can't happen. We ha- we have to we have to come out and absolutely get on top of teams and let them know it's going to be a horrible day for them. And what? so that's that's yeah. priority number one, and that's what we're that's what we're going to do Saturday. By the way, my son's soccer team's named the Republic. Not saying that anything. Not the locomotive? The, no. Hell no. No. They're the Republic. <laughs> uh, I got, got people on in our YouTube chat talking about how, how Republic, uh, you guys do a free soccer camp, uh, Land Park Friday. Uh, he's taking his daughter. It's just the, the effect throughout – is fantastic and beyond that todd i mean obviously i'm preaching the choir here but the local rivalries uh oakland roots continuing that one monterey bay there's a new one and a nice place to uh, go play a soccer game as well plus uh returning to full stadiums all, all the traditional competition you are playing your entire conference home and away no more just the division game so this is this is kind of a not just a return to normalcy but also you're adding in a few more uh, regional rivalries and that's always good for uh, viewing yeah, there's the, you got three strong, you know, markets now in, in Monterey, Oakland, and Sacramento to kind of duel it out. Uh, it's going to be fun. I mean, we go to Monterey twice. Um, Oakland, we, we started that rivalry last year and looking forward to, to getting going again there. But to your point, we play everybody twice. It's going to be, uh, you know, the timing for when the season's starting couldn't be better as, as kind of a, you know, California and the rest of the, the country are sort of opening up again um, and coming out of the, the depths of winter and the pandemic and all those things like that, that's sort of, uh, for us, we're, we're looking forward. We're looking forward to packing the stadium. I think a lot of people, uh, from everything we're seeing and, and feeling is that people are ready to, to enjoy life and, and to get out and to be together and to celebrate and to let loose a little bit. So I think for us, that's, what's exciting. Uh, you know, come out to the park, enjoy your team, root us on, and you're going to see a squad that that's going to make you proud. That is GM, President Todd Donovan, Sacramento Republic. Get your tickets at sacrepublicfc.com for the Heart Health Park opening day Saturday. As the Republic try to <clears throat> derail the locomotive uh, in front of a home crowd. You see, that, that's why I'm, nice. on, yeah, that's why I'm on the radio. Don't want to encourage him. Didn't go to Stanford, but still can pull it off the top of my head. Todd, uh, miss you, buddy. Look forward to seeing you soon. Let's get a bite. I look forward to seeing you out there. Good luck to you this season, my man. Sounds great. Thank you, guys. All right, take care. Todd's a good dude.